2021, 2020. Look how fun this can be. Walking to the new year right with me. We go from one to two to three, and then we get our dreams, you see. What's up, my beautiful nuggets? It's 2021, a fresh start, a new year new fun. It's the January Animal Cross New Horizons Almanac. Tom Nook has opened his papers and says, what is happening this first month of the year? Cranston wonders too, and you will probably as well, my dear. It's a chance to do some new stuff, to be different, to get a little weird. Maybe you can explore worm culture. Perhaps you can be kinder to your mom. Maybe you can get more hours into your Animal Crossing island, but whatever you do, it begins right here. Hope you guys all had a fantastic break. I'm back in the office every day now. Cranston is doing yoga. I've got my agenda as well, right? I've listed out checklist of things to do. I'm reading every day. I'm trying to get better sleep. I'm making sure that I wear my Shirlene jacket so that I can be fuzzy and warm, toasty like corn on the cob, which is one of my favorite, most underrated foods. Definitely Definitely something to look after in 2021. But today it's all about what is new. NPCs, shops, items, and more. This month, is it one of the big ones? No, it's not. But that's because the potential is the pudding of this delicious dish. Now, the most important thing about this month is right here, right? It's this screen. Free update scheduled for late January. Is it going to be a big deal or not? Pave's event is not a big deal, but... Nintendo has indicated, and Doug Bowser has made mention, as I discussed in my 2021 Animal Crossing video, there's a link in the description if you want to hear all the details, they're planning to do big updates like they did in 2020. That means more quarterly or bi-quarterly updates that focus on bringing new NPCs, gameplay improvements, as well as updates to item lists and holidays. So I think Pave is just the beginning. I think he's just the chocolate chip of our cookie, and the rest will include some exciting new things. Fingers crossed for my boy! Brewster, we said it for the first time in 2021. Brewster, we said it again. That's two Brewsters, one 2021, and together they will harmonize, fit together like a puzzle, and hopefully deliver uh, the actual thing in the game. But we'll talk about predictions later. This is the big update. I predict it's going to be around January 19th. It says late January. I think we get a trailer around then. I think this thing hits in late January, but then covers the whole month of February. I think this is gonna be an update that includes Valentine's Day, that potentially brings Brewster, obviously brings Pave, and makes some nice QOL quality of life improvements to the game now that we are in the second year of the title. Now, there is the Mario items coming in March and the year anniversary of the game, but I think that'll be saved for a later trailer. I think this one focuses on January and February and will deliver a surprising amount of new content. So this is like the biggest deal of January, and if it does activate before the end of the month, we can count it as part of our January almanac, and I think you are going to get some delicious stuff here in January. More towards the end, I'm targeting January 19th, 21st, that range for the trailer, and then a release the following week. But NPC-wise, could Pave be the character we get this month? I'm not so sure. It might be a month empty of any arriving NPCs because typically Festival is in February and it looks to be February 15th this year, which is right by Valentine's Day. And so I don't know how Nintendo is going to juggle this. There may be an option for them to bump Pave up and put him in January, arriving with this update scheduled for the end of the month. And then he would be the new character for this Almanac page but I'm going to bet that Nintendo will probably either double up in February or there won't be an NPC for Valentine's Day. Maybe Brewster will come at the beginning of the update as a new character holding down the roost for it and then Pave will arrive in February. But if I had to give you my best guess, it's that there won't be an NPC in January. Pave will arrive mid-February in relation to Festival and... I mean, I'm hopeful for Brewster, but I never want to get too excited because you know what happens. I end up spilling stuff or eating salt or falling apart, and, and I'm, I'm trying to keep it together in 2021, okay? I'm trying to keep my sanity. When there are some things you can grab right away, you see my item island is littered with items. It's basically become an item island because I have so much stuff, and I just don't know where to put it. Well, there's more things you can grab because the New Year's items have really doubled up. These are available from your Nook Terminal, the Kadomatsu, the Kagamimochi, the New Year's Shimikazari, the Olivier Salad, the 2021 Celebratory Arch, the Yutnori, and the Zodiac Ox figurine. These guys are all available till January 15th, and you can see the prices below their date. So make sure to grab them, because once the game clock hits somewhere else, January 16th, 
For example, you can't time travel back to grab these things as far as I'm aware. They are only available via the next up during these dates. So if you want any of these items, get them now. I highly recommend the salad because it's good to start eating some more well-rounded, healthy foods in 2021 and that celebratory arch. The archways are always just fun and it's a memento to the year. Like 2021, will, will that item, it'll change next year. So I, I really like that. Some people try to say that the new year is just another number. The calendar changed, nothing else did. Well, I say, step right through, you're in 2021. Rock right back, you're in 2020. 2021, 2020. Look how fun this can be. Walking to the new year right with me. We go from one to two to three, and then we get our dreams. You see, this is the new year balloon arch. It costs a lot of bells, but it's not even March, and you have to grab it before the 15th. That's when Nook will make us stink. I'm telling you, like, this is how this works. You walk through the arch, and you're like, ah! And then you, hmm, ah! Hmm, do it with me. Grab the arch, I promise. Your problems will be put in the past. But what else we got in January? Well, we do have a few other things, like the ornaments are going away. The little ornies that drop from the tree, they're so cute and also potentially dangerous. If that glass does shatter, it's gonna be in the weeds, in the grass, potentially underneath the snow, and that would probably cause a lot of foot cuts. One of the worst afflictions on Earth. January 6th is the last day to grab them, so like, you guys need to really hurry up. Get your ornaments if you want to craft anything that remains from Toy Day or anything from the past month or so. If you need the resources, get them now. This is going to be your opportunity. We also have snowflakes, which are still here till the 24th of February in the Northern Hemisphere. They'll be showing up in summer for the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, but if you do want to catch snowflakes for any of those icy good recipes, make sure to grab them. you got another month to do it, but January will be a nice time to build up a reservoir, especially considering it's a light month. And then February expects to have more events like Valentine's Day. There's also a global fish tourney on January 9th. Now, this isn't that exciting for longtime players, but if you're a new AC hopeful, if you got the game for Christmas, well, congrats, you're in on one of the best communities ever for video games. But the first time you play these things, come on, guys, they were pretty fun. Even the second and third, you can do them with friends, you can do them solo. There's some fun items to win. I recommend the Pochette. It is perfecto and beautiful and really fun to get the first time around. Maybe not so much the sixth or the seventh time, but it's January 9th. That's the second Saturday of the month. Get up early. Get those fish. Do it with your friends. It makes it more fun and easier to accumulate points, and then you'll probably never need to do it again. But it's nice that it's global. We've also got a bug off, but this is Southern Hemisphere only. So, hey, you can't catch the snowflakes. You don't really have the snow. But Flick is ready to bring that seasonal depression to your island on January 15th. Again, new players. This is a chance to get some great bug off items and participate in a pretty fun event that will get old quite quickly. My goodness, my young AC fans, you have so much to learn. This game is great, but there are some rough edges, and they will appear after a couple of months. But right now, it's the glory days, and hopefully they continue to inject new fun so that everybody is on board with what they're incorporating. But yeah, there's one bug off for the South, one fishing tourney that does encapsulate both hemispheres. And now everyone loves to say that the Northern Hemisphere gets the most love, but not true this month, my friends. In fact, Northern Hemisphere players like myself, we got very little. Take a peek at this, the fish in the Northern Hemisphere this month. Nothing new and nothing old. Okay, let's take a peek at the bugs in the Northern Hemisphere this month. Nothing new. Nothing old. What is happening? I mean, it's all the same bugs as December, but nothing is coming and nothing is going. It's just kind of stagnation. Now, in the Southern Hemisphere, they do have some new fish. The sweet fish, the Napoleon fish, the puffer fish, the blue marlin, and the ocean sunfish. I love that ocean sunfish because he's so dang wide. There's just something charming about that. The blue marlin, though, and the Napoleon fish are where it's at with those $10,000 price points. They are huge by the pier and by the sea. You're also losing the tadpoles. So if you want to make a frog colony, get after it. Now, in terms of southern bugs, we do have quite a lot in January. The grasshopper, the brown cicada. This is like the month where all the beetles and cicadas come back. Robust cicada, giant cicada, evening cicada, cicada shell, blue weevil beetle, earth boring dung beetle, scarab beetle, stag beetle, sorry, saw beetle, miyama stag, giant stag, cyclomatis stag, golden stag, giraffe stag, horned dynastid, horned atlas, horned elephant, Horn Hercules, Walking Stick, and Walking Leaf. A lot of great bugs here. A lot of big price chunkers. So many of those beetles do bear eight, ten, twelve thousand dollar price points. So it's a great opportunity to earn some bells if you're new to the game. Maybe you're taking place in stonks and getting your your game on with Daisy May. But maybe you also want to just get some bugs. These are great places and and opportunities to make some big bells and fill up your bags. So that's what we got going on for the new bugs. The old bugs, you're losing the honeybee. No more stinging. Well, you can still get stung. You just you just can't catch the honeybee, but honeybee is kind of a cute one, so I do recommend it. Now, the deep sea, 
does get nothing new again from the Northern Hemisphere, but there are two leaving the abalone and the lobster. Say goodbye to the lobster tail. Don't bite it. Just wave, okay? It's fast. It's going to be on its way. 4,500 bells. Don't worry too much about it. Now, for the Southern Hemisphere, you've got the moon jellyfish, the giant isopod, the horseshoe crab coming, and the seaweed going. Deep sea is something that I think is going to need a deep overhaul in the new year because diving was very cool when it first arrived, you know, getting the pearls and Pascal and the deep sea creatures, but now it's basically pointless. Everything has been acquired. There's no new exchange with Pascal, and I just don't really see much point to it. So I hope that Nintendo has a plan to really invigorate diving because it's a nice part of the game. Like, swimming is very cool. Wetsuits, getting in the water with your friends, jumping off higher ledges. Pascal himself, a pretty awesome NPC, but he's just dull at this point, and I hope they put a clean coat of paint, some nice shine on him, whether it's a dump of new creatures, a new item set for him to exchange, or just another purpose for the guy, because right now, that element of the game, yeah, it's it's kind of a drag. There you have it, my friends. That's January. As I mentioned, currently a light month. All right, Julia? She's like, yeah. Not much going on. Playing with the worms in the ground. Worm culture, the place to be. But I hope your new year has started off fun and fresh. And if it hasn't, well, don't worry, because remember, as much as it is a big burgeoning opportunity to bust through that door and start something new, it's also just another day. And so every day you have an opportunity and a chance to set things right, to get on track, to get going. So use this as your New Year's if you need to, or use tomorrow. It's a fresh start every day, and don't banish yourself to a bad year just because the first week hasn't been all that fun. Remember, a deep breath, reflection inward, gratitude, Patience with not only the world, but yourself as well can go a long way. Got to be gentle. It was a tough time in 2020. So this year might start a little slowly, and that's okay. But I believe in you, and you can do it. Have faith in yourself. You're amazing. Look in that mirror. Don't say, ugh. Say, yeah. Just a little positivity. It starts to build on each other, right? It's exponential. You're going to find great growth if you can keep that going. It's like nook miles. Every day you go, you get 50 more. Same with positivity. It's going to build and build and build. And then you cash those in and start accomplishing start achieving, start succeeding, and start finding that content happiness that I know you're all hungry for. So thanks for being a part of the Almanac this month. What are you guys excited for? I mean, it's got to be this, right? Bam. They bring in the Brewster. They bring in the Pave. Valentine's Day, what do they got in store? I'll have you covered as soon as I know more information. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button if you enjoy. Let me know what you're excited about in January in the comments down below. Everybody, thanks so much. I love you. I'll see y'all soon. Until that time, stay safe, stay healthy, stay smart out there. Switch Force out.